He's just a good old boy who loves burning rubber and driving fast. Race day morning. Crystal, baby. We got a heck of a weekend going and we are going to do everything we can to keep it going. Number one qualifier, two fast, two chase to win. And these kids on this team have been busting their butt. Yes, we kabloomed one yesterday, but you know what? It's part of it. Bump in the racetrack, spun the tires, a lot of RPM, a lot of boost, chunked the rod out of it, made it go boom. But we got our back together, or we'll be here in a little while. Short blocks back in, everything will be fine. And we'll go out here first round and we're racing Cameron for Ray. Have no idea what the ladder looks like. I honestly don't look at it because it doesn't matter. It ain't like NASCAR. I can't do a bump and run. So my job is to go out there and race the racetrack and that Christmas tree. And that's what we're going to do. Jimmo, Nikki, Jesse, all the kids on this team will give me a good race car and I just gotta go out there and do my thing because I know they're gonna do their thing. Race day, let's do it. Banana time, first round time, going up for driver intro. Might have some rain today. Track conditions are definitely gonna be different, obviously. You can probably tell, very overcast, but we're ready. Me too. Well, you got the fancy hat and all that stuff on, so you know, I'm just gonna try not to screw up. I'm all like starstruck. A more popular number one qualifier there was not this weekend here at the Super Grip Nationals. It is the site of his first NHRA win. He took the number one spot with a 3.786 at 325 miles per hour. It's his first number one of the season, his second one here at Thunder Valley in the 26th of his career. He drives the Parts Plus Ford Racing Top Fuel Car for the folks at Rick Ware Racing. And did I mention he's one of your very own native Tennesseans? Here he is your number one Top Fuel y'all round one cloud cover quite a bit different from sack setup he just needs to go out here and make a good solid run that's what we're trying to do that's y'all got them first round butterflies y'all it's a good thing let you know you're alive let's go have fun brother love you buddy Go get him, Bubba. Yes, sir. Thank you, brother.
Y'all heard, I don't know if y'all couldn't hear that, but it had a hole out. Obviously, Cameron had some problems over there. And clutch locked up, imagine that. Sometimes that happens when you shut it off early. And sometimes that happens when, uh, thank y'all. Love you guys, y'all are the best. Did you just blow them off or what? No, I just, we were only going to go to that far. Yeah. yeah so. I mean, we put a hole out, they hit the button. Yeah. You know the deal. Yeah. They just said, drive it till, till you see him. <laughs> and I saw your back wheels. I'm like, good luck. All right, buddy. <laughs> okay, hey, buddy. at least you got to stomp on the loud pedal. Absolutely. Some. Absolutely. Good luck. Let's go. One down. Three One to down. go. One down. Woo. I told y'all, round ones are miserable. The butterflies are crazy. Uh, we knew if we went, we were good. Didn't know what Cameron and them were really going to try to do over there, but uh, got the job done. Got this thing warmed up, ready. We actually changed the short block because we had a, a stupid, stupid. That's a light. What'd you see? So the oil, main oil gallery, there's a front and rear one. The front one took a shit on us. The rear one had, I, you can't even see it by a naked eye, you had to get a flashlight, a pinhole in it, and it was leaking out. So, got a fix, that'll be a good spare. Yep, yep, there wasn't nothing wrong with the motor. Nope. It just had a pinhole in a in an oil plug, oil galley plug, basically. Look at all these folks back here. It's cool. All these people hanging out back here. Some hometown boys right there. That's trouble. That's trouble. I appreciate all these folks. Ah, it makes me feel good. I love it. It's absolutely awesome. When we race here in Bristol, it's always like that. It's fantastic. My buddy Doug Foley. That's a throwback to the IHRA days. We did this a lot. Woo! I am ready and excited to try to go out here and make a good solid run, do our job, and turn on the wind light. Doug Foley, let's go. Here we go. Rolling under the tower. Bristol Dragway.
Então, last time I saw the light come on right at the finish line, red light come on before the finish line. All right, that's a win. That's a semifinal. Woo, I love you guys too. This is awesome. I love it. Y'all are carrying me. I ain't, I'm not crushing it, but we're getting the job done. Report card. All that matters, I know y'all like looking at it. All that matters though is that right there. It says win. It's on our side. <laughs> a win's a win. And that's a win. Getting this thing ready. Semi-final bound. Tony Schumacher. We owe him another one. We got him in the uh, two, 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 five, two tasty challenge. But he got us at the semis at the last race. We're gonna try to turn that around this go round. That's Tony. Um, yep. Y'all check this out. We done pulled Jesse off the bench, and he is sweating. Got this sweat rolling off the nose. I just caught it dripping right off the nose. There. You got a lot on that one. Yep. Good. It is got some sweat going too, but it's, it's, it's not. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna get back in the game. Right. Back Good. in the game. <laughs> Let's play. Need to give y'all. I probably need to give y'all a little context. So I'm looking right in there. Andrew is getting a set of heads ready for final round. So Jesse's hopped in here and uh, doing that, so Andrew can stay on top of that. That goes back to that cross training thing we talked about. Of course, Jesse's car chief. It ain't many jobs he hadn't done on here. That's what we're doing. Izzy's on his normal spot. Jesse's over here getting this thing ready. Andrew getting the final round solar heads ready. And that's what's happening. We got all these folks out here watching. <laughs> and one more red light, then we go to the final, y'all. Wow, if y'all could only have heard that conversation we just had. Uh, thank goodness you didn't. We are going up here, have some clouds. We thought they were going to stay, but sun's back out a little bit. This reminds me just a touch of Vandermeer because you do have a you know mountain and that stuff will sneak over the top of the mountain. But right now, sun's out a little bit. Tony Schumacher. Rematch from yesterday and the week before. I don't even remember where we were at. Where were we at, John? Epping. 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 There we go. All right, we're rolling up. First pair out. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Y'all, they had a huge oil down in the left lane right on the starting line look several hundred feet out and we don't have lane choice so we will be in the left lane but they typically do a pretty dang good job getting this thing ready and making it good and the signal goes out
damn it! I'm good. Dang it, y'all. She blowed up on us again. Oh, racetrack's rough, bounces. Ah. I don't see anything else up here in the front. Boom. I'm glad to get off this bumpy racetrack. I bet you are. Yeah. Yeah. It's ugly, y'all. Parts where they're not supposed to be. Dang it. All right, it's about 10 after 11, Sunday night. Didn't really tell you win, lose, whatever happened, but obviously we lost. And you saw the blower kind of askew, as uh, Alan Reinhardt would say. I just wanted y'all to just look around this place. Just check this place out. It is absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. Just look at it. For a place that I love so much and for the people that run it, that make it so nice, love those folks too. But I gotta tell you something. Down this racetrack right here, it is incredibly, and I do mean incredibly, Incredibly bumpy. It's got some whoop sections in it and this weekend we blew our car up twice and I mean blew it up Like rods out intake manifold supercharger injector all junk I'm going to venture to say well over a hundred thousand dollars in damage and we can tear stuff up on our own plenty good. I'm trying to be politically correct. I guess I'm really not trying to be politically correct because I do love this place so much and, and the people that run it. But those two lanes, whew, bad, 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 bad. And I know they worked on it and I don't know what it is they can do about it without... Uh, spending a fortune but i also know that a lot of race teams here spent a fortune as well i mean like i said our team i know 100 grand that we probably lost in two runs for something that we could not control uh, basically the engine is going right down the racetrack around 8,000 rpm the next thing you know back tires off the ground 8,960 pounds of boost and kaboom. It's crazy, but that's what happens. It is what it is. I still love it. It's absolutely wonderful. Hopefully they can get the bumps fixed. And uh, anyway, appreciate you guys watching, liking, subscribing, and sharing. See you in the next one. <laughs>